Hi guys, if you're trying to find out how you can reduce facial hair growth, stay tuned because we're going to be talking about it right now. And in case you don't know, my name is Dr. Ndidi Ehim and I am a pharmacist and a certified functional medicine practitioner and I also own my own pharmacy here in Houston, Texas area. But today I want to talk to people, especially women, who are dealing with unwanted facial hair, unwanted body hair in general and this could be attributed to polycystic ovary syndrome which is also called PCOS. So if you've been following me for a while you know I talk everything about PCOS, how it affects women, hormonal imbalance, the different symptoms, things to watch out for. But a rising interest I've seen lately is people wanting to know how they could reduce hirsutism which is facial hair in women. and one natural option that comes up is spearmint the spearmint tea reduce facial hair that is the question of the day so a lot of research has actually been done into this and the answer is yes but you have to listen for the other part that comes with it so first of all let's go back what is spearmint the scientific name is menta spicata and is a type of mint species that is associated with potential health benefits. So both fresh spearmint and its essential oils are used to help with gastrointestinal issues like stomach issues. It could also be used with helping to relieve toothaches. It could also be used to help with headaches and muscle pain. So in times past, a lot of people have been using spearmint just for its medicinal benefits. And now a lot of research has been done and they found out that it actually helps to reduce hormone levels like the androgen levels. So that means when you're reducing androgen levels, you're also reducing testosterone, which is very important for women because we want our hormones to be balanced. We don't want more androgens or we don't want more testosterone than we have estrogen because we when you have more testosterone you're going to show all the symptoms of having more testosterone which will be facial hair maybe infertility issues weight gain baldness eschatism all those things that come along with pcos so the benefits of spearmint especially that reducing hormone levels of the androgen specifically now People have looked into spearmint tea and that's where a lot of its benefit for women dealing with PCOS has really come from. And so if you're taking spearmint tea at least two to three times a day, it does help to reduce androgen levels such as testosterone in your body. And so with PCOS, most people have high levels of testosterone and this also gives all those symptoms that I just mentioned. Um, acne as well, severe cystic acne is a problem with that. So if you're consistent and you're taking the spearmint tea, make sure that when you're doing the tea, it's actually just spearmint alone because most of the teas you find are a mixture of other mint leaves or other kinds of leaves that are not just spearmint alone. So for you to really get the highest effect of the spearmint, if that's the route you decide to go, make sure that is 100% spearmint, nothing else in there. Now, you would boil the water, put your spearmint tea in there, if it's loose leaves or however you like to take your tea, you will boil it until it comes to like a proper boil for drinking and then you sip on that tea and you do that two to three times a day. And I will say be consistent with this for the next 30 days and you start seeing a reduction of your hair growth. So let's say you have to shave every five days. Maybe now you, need, you just need to shave or do it less. Maybe every other week you don't need to shave until two weeks time like because your hair growth will be reduced significantly if you're really consistent with it. Now outside of the tea let's talk about the oil the actual extract of the spearmint so the essential oil and so this is another thing that has been studied to where people see a benefit of actually rubbing the oil on the skin this goes without saying again it has to be a hundred percent spearmint no other blends no other leaves because it's easier to find spearmint mixed with something else but just the ones that are like a hundred percent spearmint it's a little bit difficult and I'm going to be working on something on that because I see that's a problem and I see a lot of people need that. So stay tuned. <laughs> but really, you need to make sure that 
it's the extract of the spearmint tea and it's in that that's exactly what's in the oil and you drop that on your skin wherever you're having the hair growth issue and uh, you do that but taking the spearmint extract you make sure you do it consistently in nothing less than 30 days for you to start seeing an effect some people might have to do this for the next four months for the next six months like you have to give your body time to get used to the changes that you're just added on right so let's just keep that in mind now people want to know okay does spearmint have any other benefit we know it's natural we know it helps to alleviate pain headache toothaches it helps to reduce the follicle stimulating hormones and lh like so what else so when i said that don't let it skip over your head it could be beneficial for fertility listen up because it's reducing the levels of androgen in your body it will help improve fertility the problem of you being infertile or having a hard time conceiving or keeping a pregnancy in is that your body is competing with the male hormone so as a woman you're having high levels of androgens which is taking over the estrogen and the estrogen is like oh my god there's no place for us to thrive so as you're taking the spearmint and as it's reducing androgens in turn it's helping your estrogen thrive because now androgen and testosterone could go ahead and have several seats at the back <laughs> right and now your estrogen and, and everything you need your lh your luteinizing hormones your follicle stimulating hormones could all thrive and so studies show that consuming two cups of spearmint tea for five days showed an increase in the level of the luteinizing hormone lh the follicle stimulating hormone fsh and estradiol so estradiol is another form of estrogen that's what you need for estrogen to be produced and whatnot so that is good news for fertility so not only are we getting rid of the facial hair and the unwanted hair in places that we don't care about as women we're also improving our chances of fertility which is amazing so beyond its anti androgenic effects there's really more studies that need to be done into spearmint but side effects i won't say there's a lot of side effects to it i'll just say maybe irregular hair growth <laughs> so because it's, it's, it's safe to consume really um if you're doing it two to three times a day that's fine to help with the wanted or irregular hair growth you're having on your chin your jaw some people haven't have a full grown beard i don't know if you all have seen women who are going through that and some of them actually come out to make videos to educate other people and at some point you just have to be who you are and be proud of it like you shave every day they get tired they have a full blown like beard and so you know if more people know about this then it's something that could help a lot of people now spearmint it does have a milder taste than peppermint so if you like peppermint or if you don't like peppermint spearmint is just like a little milder than peppermint so it's not as strong of a flavor in regards to the mint family as peppermint will be and really you could drink it hot or cold i know i said hot but some people might not really care for it to be hot especially if you're in hotter places like texas like i am <laughs> you might not want to be consuming so much hot tea in the summer because it's already so so hot but yeah that is essentially the benefit of spearmint tea so yes it does help improve with reducing facial hair growth and the more you use it the more you see an effect in that area so the point is to reduce androgen all the way down so estrogen can thrive which promotes fertility and reduces the male characteristics or symptoms of PCOS that we experience as women so if you like any of this information go ahead and hit subscribe like share and save this video for another woman if it's in your family your child your mom your daughter whoever needs to see this go ahead and share it out and make sure you follow for more videos in the future thank you and have a great day bye bye <laughs>